So I have a lot of money with Bank of America in a deposit account there, but I owe them a lot of money on my credit card. Should I do something about that before I file? My name is Ron Drescher. I'm an attorney practicing bankruptcy and creditors' rights, Maryland, Delaware, Pennsylvania, and Virginia. And the answer is, yeah, you better get your money away from Bank of America and into a bank account that, uh, as a, that's at a bank that you don't owe any money to. The reason for that is banks have the right of offset. You know, we think that when we have money in a bank account, that money is sitting in the bank account. The bank is just kind of holding it for us and, and keeping it safe. But that's not the way the law really regards that relationship. In that relationship, the bank owes you the money that you have on deposit with it. Just like you owe the bank money under your credit card or a line of credit or a personal loan or, or some other debt that you have with that bank. So when the bank knows that you are going to default, the bank can go in and offset the amount you have on deposit against what you owe. And that is money you are not getting back. They don't have to sue you to take it. They don't have to get a judgment to take it. They don't have to give you notice before they take it. They can just do it. That's why as a, a very important part of bankruptcy planning is moving your money out of the banks that you owe money to. That way it'll be safe and that bank can't take it. My name is Ron Drescher. I'm an attorney practicing bankruptcy and creditor's rights. And if you're concerned about whether a bank is going to be able to offset against the money you have on deposit, please pick up the phone and call me. I would love to hear from you.